I do want to transition transition over to this whole, we'll call it a fiasco. Yeah. Uh, and I really, really have struggled with, should I say anything? Um, you know, like when I was growing up, my mother taught me, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all, right? Uh, and not that I have anything bad to say, but the the problem is that this, what has happened, it's not, not just that the, the problem that the, com that the competitor ran into with a product, it's the way that it's been handled yeah. out in, and the explanations that really are lacking in my personal opinion. And it's left athletes now questioning everybody, all the companies, they're questioning us. I'm sure they're questioning every gel manufacturer out there. It's like, how do we believe you? And, and I don't even have a really good answer because you know, I could show you some test and then the response could be, well, how do I believe you're, how do, how do I believe you're even showing me an accurate test? Right. So I, I really felt like, okay, we, I, I need to, I need to address this. And, uh, but I don't, I, first and foremost, I'm not here to bash spring. I actually, I, the more competition, the better. And I actually like, I like spring, the company. I think they're, they're, they get a good vibe. They, I like what they, what they're doing with the products. Um, so it, from from what I can see, it's a it's a really a really good company. Uh, and that said, every athlete's different. Like e gel doesn't work for everybody, yeah. and Spring has a unique they have a unique product that they're offering. Right? It's all it's the Whole Foods. That's not what we do. Um, uh, we have the reasons for doing what we do, and they do too, and, that, and that's great. Um, so I I want them to fix their whatever is going on and continue to be a vibrant competitor. Um, that said, I want to, I, I think the best way for me to try to assure customers that, that that could never happen to us is to kind of explain our process and what we went through to bring our products to market. Anybody that knows me uh, knows that I tell people the key to success is focus. I tell people, write it backwards on your forehead so when you look in the mirror in the morning, you see it. And that's with your with your relationships, with your sport, whatever it is that's important to you, you focus on it. And in this business, our, there's, there's lots of different components of this business. Uh, the first component is designing the, the profile of the product. And that's, we did that internally based on my background and looking at all the products that were out there and looking at independent research by the American College of Sports Medicine predominantly that there's a lot of great information out there that that is proven to show how how athletes can perform better uh so we don't go off and design something and then send it off to a university to try and uh, come up with some study that says hey look these guys came up with some great thing we didn't invent anything here we took it, we took common industry knowledge and turned it into a product um but that said we then went off to a food manufacturer or food development company and spent a lot of money. And what they do is they take our profile, our design characteristics, and they actually make the formula to ver you know, to decide, okay, what are the exact ingredients, the exact quantity of the ingredients? What are the nutri nutritional components of those ingredients? How do we make this? How do we blend it? What's the procedures? And how do we mass produce it? Um, and also get the flavors right. So that, that's, a, that's a lengthy process. And then that company works with our contract manufacturing companies to, to bring that process into the manufacturing environment. And so th those two steps, the, the food development and the contract manufacturing, we don't do that. It's not part of our focus. And let me tell you, I, I love going into the, I love when we're in manufacturing, going into the manufacturing facilities it's awesome. Um, it's super high tech. It's, I can't imagine trying to do it ourselves. It is so dialed in and there's, there's, I mean, there's engineers running the equipment, there's scientists testing everything. It's like going into Fort Knox too, especially after, after nine yeah. 11, any food facility, you, you don't just walk in. Right. Yeah. So, um, so we have really, really good partners that know what they're doing for, for, the formulation and for manufacturing. And in manufacturing, every ingredient that goes in our products, they come from reliable sources that 
every product has a has a spec sheet that identifies exactly like how much carb is in it, right? So this really the issue right now is how many how many carbs are in a product, right? So the the ingredients it's it's a known specified quantity, and there's also every lot that they run of every ingredient is analyzed, and there's what's called a certificate of analysis, a COA that goes along with it to make sure that it's health that's safe as well. And the manufacturers when the ingredients come in to those facilities they won't even offload them from the truck if the certificate of analysis isn't with it that matches up to the lot so it's 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 so regulated it's crazy and i'm sure that the vast majority of the gel companies in the industry is they do the same exact way um some of them do try and do all this in-house and my hat's off to them but i the other reason that, that we would never try and do it in-house is because like anybody that knows manufacturing, it's the equipment itself is very expensive and all the people and the key to being profitable in manufacturing is keeping all of your equipment busy, you know, running seven by 24. You know, it, you'd have to produce an ungodly amount of gel to keep a manufacturing line busy seven by 24. So anyway, that's that's kind of the process that we use and the um, I can tell you for, for people that are interested, you don't have to go off and, and spend $300 to send the gel of your choice off to a lab and do your own test. Which you, no one should have to do that. Um, with our products, you've, you look at e-gel, it's 55 grams. And I can tell you right now, it's just 27% of that product is water, which is, uh, I think that comes up to 15 grams of water in a pack. There's 40 grams of solid. And of that 37 grams are carbs. The other three grams are the electrolytes and the, we don't hide anything. I'll, if somebody wants the formula, I'll send it to them, they can make it themselves. <laughs> um, it's, it's, really, it's really pretty straightforward. So we will never run into this issue. And I just wish, it, it's very unfortunate because um, that I see athletes now, not only have they been impacted like, oh, I didn't, I didn't PR, I didn't qualify for this, I bonked, you know, especially not just from a performance standpoint, but look at all the money they're laying out yeah. on entry fees and all the, the time and effort that they put into training. So I, I can tell you, I've looked at almost all of our competitors and I don't, I, I'd be shocked if, if we see another issue like this, another company. Um, so I don't know if that, if that helps to alleviate people's concern or not, but what are you, what are you hearing from your athletes? Um, honestly, I, with people that have been trying your gels, uh, my close proximity of friends, um, have been feeling the difference, which is mm -hmm. pretty crazy because these are people that aren't like new runners. These are people that have done marathon after marathon after marathon, and they're feeling the difference with your products on a long run. And they're like, wow, like this is what I've been missing. Um, and that's, you know, it's really disheartening for me personally when I, especially when I see some of these friends that have been trying to shoot for a goal over and over and over again their training is there, everything's adding up, but something is just quite not there on the right. race day. And they're just barely missing that mark. Um, and again, right, like not feeling is it going to be the end all be all answer to a PR, but it is a big part of endurance running. And that's why it's so important to, to hone in on, okay, how many carbs are you taking? What is your electrolytes look like? What's your sodium look like? These are all things that, you know, I even personally had struggled with on my first marathon. Um, and I think that's something I kind of want to talk about a little bit more with your product, because that was something that was a difference for me. Um, as a lot of you guys know, I went from UCAN to eGel. And the one thing that I, that really stood out to me was your sodium, um, 230 milligrams of sodium. I don't think I've seen, a, maybe I'm wrong, but I haven't seen a gel that has reached that. I don't um, think there is any. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd be, I just, I'm interested. I have like all your gels all yeah. piled up here because I wanted to share buddy with their fine colors super good flavors this is the e <laughs> and then this is gel um but what like let's talk about the details of like what's in it like why the 37 grams of carbs why the 230 milligrams of sodium and why the 85 milligrams of potassium 